Tonight, a Lake Oswego family says it's unfair their Little League baseball player didn't make the All-Star team. They say one reason, she's the only girl. KT's Anita Casse is live in Lake Oswego. Anita, the league says that's not the reason, but admits there was a mistake. Well, Deb, the Little League players here are supposed to pick four people that they think should be on that all-star team, and then the coaches fill in the rest. Well, that player's vote didn't happen, and this family thinks that their stellar player, who happens to be a girl, may have inadvertently been left out because of it. It's my baseball glove. Tyler Creech doesn't mind being the only girl in the Lake Oswego Little League. It's really fun for me to just get better at baseball and to, you know, play with the boys, you know, show them that, you know, a girl can do all the things that they can do. You're pretty good. <laughs> you laugh, but you really are. I mean, tell me a little bit about your season. Um, well, I hit four home runs this season, and I've pitched two complete games. But on her last chance to make it on the All-Star team, Tyler wasn't selected. Right when my mom told me that I wasn't on the All-Star team, I really thought it was because I was a girl. I mean, I worked really, really hard this season to, um, to be my personal best and to make other players around me better and have a positive attitude, and I just kind of feel angry and hurt and confused on why I, I wasn't picked. She doesn't have a dad to go out and throw a ball with her and teach her how to swing, so she's had to work for everything. Don Creech brought this to the league's attention this week. She says although every player on the All-Stars deserves a spot, it's hard not to question the selection process when the kids didn't get to vote this year. Eight out of the 11 players who were selected for the 11 and 12-year-old All-Star team, uh, their dads were either head coaches or assistant coaches. From the outside, that looks like cronyism a little bit. Is it? Uh, absolutely not. Tom Shimoda is the league president. The coach's kids are typically assigned the number one spot in the draft or the number two spot in the draft, and it's not because they're the coach's kids, it's because they typically throw better, they hit better, they catch better. He admits the league goofed by not sending out the player ballots, but says Tyler's gender was never an issue. Her performance, her statistics had some holes in them, and um, you know, at the end of the day, um, uh, it just wasn't an all-star caliber season. Nobody maliciously said, well, she's a girl, I don't want her on the team, but discrimination happens in a much more subtle way. Now, some other parents we talked with agreed that Tyler should be on the all-star team, but they didn't want to go on camera because of some of the politics involved in this. The league says it is considering some changes to the process that would make it much more transparent. Live in Lake Oswego, Anita Kase, K2 News. Either way, I'll tell you this one, she's got a lot of talent. No question about that. Anita Kase, thank you for that.